Hi, I'm Richard Slade of the Seawood Group, and in this video, we're going to take you through the features of the Apollo 400 Plus Portable Appliance Tester. So, here we have the Apollo 400 Plus. And the Apollo 400 Plus is ideally suited for anybody that's looking to carry out medium volume pat testing. Um, it's a fully downloadable tester, so again, removing the need for um, any paperwork and wanting to automate your testing and store it in the results, the 400 will do that with a 2000 result memory. Um, it is ideally suited for really anybody carrying out uh, pat testing in house or um, as an electrical contractor. So starting off with sort of physicalities uh, of the test, you can see here we have a full colour HD uh, display along with the uh, QWERTY keyboard. Uh, the unit itself is uh, battery operated and you'll easily get a day's testing uh, off the rechargeable battery pack there. Um, socket wise on the top we have our um, socket there for carrying out, uh, plugging in our uh, equipment under test along with the IEC socket uh, for doing uh, computer leads, uh, kettle leads, IEC leads. Uh, two sockets there for your test probes, uh, bottom one there is for your mains test lead as well, so if you are looking to obviously charge up the instrument or carry out any uh, leakage testing, uh, you can plug the instrument into the mains. Top socket there is obviously for your uh, test probe. We have a USB download and you can additionally get a 110 volt adapter for the Apollo 400. The Apollo 400 Plus itself is a fully automated tester, uh, so all the test sequences are pre-programmed in there covering a whole variety of appliances you may be looking to cover. Um, it is important to point out that the 400 uh, can be pre-programmed yourself, so if you want to set up your own test sequences for uh, your own type of equipment you're testing, long leads, anything like that, you do have the facility to do so as well. It will cover all tests uh, within the IET 4th edition code of practice and that does include fixed appliances so with an additional lead you can test fixed appliances by doing point to point. It has the 250 volt insulation test for surge protected devices or sensitive equipment along with the RCD tests if you have plug in RCDs or RCD protected extension leads. Like all the testers in the Apollo Plus range, um, it has Seaward's own very own sort of ZAP technology. So when you are carrying out earth continuity tests, you will always get good, reliable, consistent earth bomb readings. All of your asset information is actually logged in the instrument. Um, so things like site, location, retest periods, asset descriptions, that sort of thing. So again, it's removing any need uh, for handwritten records or paperwork. Um, you can use the Apollo 400 Plus with associated accessories uh, such as sort of label printing systems and barcoding, again speeding up testing processes and, and making it more consistent. Uh, the 400 Plus is downloadable to the PackGuard 3 software, so again at the end of the day or the end of the job you can simply download it into PackGuard 3. There is no manual input on the software, it's all automated and the tester actually carries all the information and will download all the information you need. If you do have uh, remote engineers, you do have the facility in the 400 Plus to connect to a smart device and obviously email any download files back to base. So, to show you how quick and efficient it is to use the Apollo 400 Plus, um, we're going to do a class 1 test on this kettle. So I have my equipment plugged in uh, to the equipment socket here. I have my uh, crocodile clip, my test probe connected to the element inside the kettle and obviously we need to ensure the kettle is in its on position. So here we have the Apollo 400 plus portable appliance tester. Um, like all Apollo uh, testers in the series, um, they do actually have a auto and manual mode for testing. Um, so in this instance we're going to go into the auto mode. So the first thing it's going to ask me for uh, in auto mode is obviously my appliance ID number. Yes, the ID number, which I can simply input there. And then the second box down here is your category of equipment that you're going to be testing. So in here you can see we've got a whole range of uh, options available covering a majority of uh, electrical appliances in the market. But in this instance, we're obviously going to choose the portable handheld class one test. It then will also ask me to log the site and the location, obviously, of where the appliance is situated. Following on from there, the uh, retest periods for the formal visual inspection and the full combined inspection and test. So once that data has all been collected for that asset, I can then simply uh, hit my F4 key and it will go into the visual inspection. So as you can see here, we've got a whole list um, available for visual inspection as um, 
mentioned in the fourth edition IET code of practice. So at this point, I can pass and fail uh, certain aspects of the visual inspection individually. It also enables me to log um, my power rating and fuse size, a few size should I wish to. If the visual inspection has passed, rather than hitting a pass on, on all the items listed there, I can simply hit my uh, pass all key, F4 here, and it will go straight into my Earth continuity test. Now, as you can see, it's given me a nice numerical value and colour indication of the status of that test, and then quickly moving on to the insulation resistance test. At the end of the test, it then obviously gives me the facility to add in my asset description. So in this instance, I'm going to put that we've tested a kettle. And you'll notice, because we've used kettle and kettle base before, it's actually uh, remembered the asset descriptions I've used. And predictive text um, has allowed me to uh, log the asset description again without keying in the same information over and over again. Once I've added in my asset description, I can then simply hit my F4 key. That item is now saved in the memory of the tester, ready to be downloaded into PackGuard 3 software. And automatically, it's on the next screen now, ready for the next test. Thank you for taking the time to watch our short video. For more information, please visit our website. And for latest industry news and events, please follow us by our social media. Hope to see you again soon.